I'm going to do some Charleston modeling for American style using National Mahjong League rules. I think this is a really great way to get comfortable with the card, learn the hands, and have some fun. If you have a set at home, give it a try. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We'll be the dealer for these exercises. As the dealer, we get 14 tiles. I'll take 14 tiles and then create a mock Charleston. We have dots, cracks, bams, wind, dragon. One of everything except flowers. That's kind of interesting. So for this, really the strength of the hand at the moment is with the one dots and the green dragon. For American style, you build around the multiples for the greatest impact and the best result. If we're holding ones, we might hold year tiles consecutive tiles. I think that we can probably go ahead and pass. Oh, let's see, we're going to be left with like numbers regardless. Let's go ahead and pass these three. There's a white dragon and a one. I'm thinking we should probably go ahead and switch to like numbers with dragons. That way we can use both multiples and this white dragon. Let's still hold the year tiles. And we even have tiles we can pass. There's another multiple. There's even a particular hand. We'd have to lose these green dragons though. Let's go ahead and focus on the first year hand because we have a bit of a risky pass. I think I would go ahead and pick a hand. Maybe even keep holding. Oh, let's see. Yeah, I think I would go ahead and pick that hand, hold the greens. Maybe we can still hang on to those and switch back to like numbers. If you get a joker, just exchange it. We have tiles we can pass. And we have tiles we can pass. We have a two dot. That could help with a year hand potentially, but that leaves us with like numbers. I'd go back, get rid of that. It's one of each suit too. We are looking for one dots, eights, and a two crack white dragon. I think we could probably go ahead and discard these three just fine. Oh, we got the one back. That's kind of nice. I would say we're in between like numbers with ones and dragons. That would be the, the third one down under like numbers. We have one, two, three, four, five, six towards that. Or we could play the first year hand. Pung of twos in one suit, pung of white dragons, then a kong of ones and eights in two different suits. We have six for each. So we're kind of in between. I would just discard these and then pick and discard and see what which one comes up. I would go with whichever one we draw into, whether it's like numbers or the year. It's kind of six one half dozen the other, although the like number hand is a higher point hand. So I would consider that during the pick and discard phase of the game. If you would have done something different, write random pull one and what you would have done. And we'll go on to the next one.
pair of threes, that's going to give us the strength. We could play maybe the concealed one, three, five odd hand. I would just the same hold all odds. Let's just see what we can get with odds. All odds. And let's discard these three. There's a one. We have tiles we can pass, so we still don't technically have to pick a hand. There's a nine. Let's go ahead and give up. We have one, three, five, one, three. We could use a three, five with the joker. Let's give up the one crack. There's a three. We can keep that. We could even use this as a seven dot and maybe play one, three, five, seven, nine. So let's look at, since this is a multiple, let's go ahead and pass. Let's pass the wins. We can still use this as joker bait and play the one, three, five concealed hand. These are good to pass. Exchange. Okay, we got a five. That's a keeper. One, three, five. I think I would go ahead and break this up and play the concealed hand because we have a pung in here. If we played one, three, five, seven, nine, the first one under odds, we'd have to give up a three. Let's go ahead and pass these three. Not only that, but there's a seven dot missing. We got a white dragon. And we have three tiles we can pass for optional cross. Three discards. That was a really good Charleston. As the dealer, we would start the game by discarding. I would discard that. And we're two away from a concealed hand. We just need a one dot, five, white, flower. Of course, we can use this in any one of these, except the flower, of course. If you would have done anything differently on this one, write random pull two and what you would have done differently. Let's do one more. We have a mixture of multiples, three, four, eight. We can't use it all. I'm thinking consecutive run, two, three, four, five. We're gonna have to give up that eight. Now we do have new, we have new and a pair of eights. I think I would give up on one of these. Let's give up the five and keep the eight and see if we can get any two cracks one cracks, white dragons. We could switch to news with the year hand. Let's go ahead and pass these. There's a flower. I think because we got a pair of flowers now, the news year hand does not use that. We could play the consecutive Kong hand in mixed suits. This would be the fifth hand down under consecutive run. If we're playing one, two, three, four, I think I would hold the one. Let's go ahead and break these up then and pass these three. There's another flower. Here's a four bam. We picked up an eight again. Two, three, four. We only need a pair of flowers here. Let's give up this one bam. Pass these three. Green dragon. 
We might be able to use a green dragon. I don't think we can use this though. Let's go ahead and pass these three. Actually, that's a little risky. We really don't need this one. Let's pass these three. There's a four bam. Look at that, four bam. Okay, we have tiles we can pass. Those right there. Maybe we'll pick up a three bam or a five bam and we can use the dragon. Let's keep the dragon past these three. There's a three bam and a two dot. Okay, now we have a multiple in each suit. Let's give up the three bam. We really don't need the extra flower, although I'm not passing it. Let's give up the green dragon. Two, three, four. We'll pass these three. We have two, five, two, three, four, three, four, five. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. These aren't gonna work at all. I think this is pretty solid. Let's pass one blind. So we have four discards, which is not bad. We have no gaps. All we need is a two dot or and a three crack or maybe a couple jokers and this hand will be set. I think that was a pretty successful Charleston actually. If you would have done anything differently, right? Random pull three and what you would have done. Even though I consider myself to be an advanced player, I really do enjoy these random pulls. Keeps me on my toes. If you have a set, give it a try yourself and let me know what you think about it. And of course, if you're a beginner, I highly recommend that you do it. I think as a beginner, it would really help build your confidence. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss any opportunities to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight in the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next set of random pulls for American Style Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. May all your picks be keepers.